So here's a story about how I broke Intel security. What's your minimum specification? Now, if you're wondering what these things are, this is because it's Hot Chips. This isn't a video sponsored by any of these brands, but Hot Chips is an annual conference where we talk about the latest in processor design. Now, as part of Hot Chips, Intel is the Rhodium sponsor. This is a stage above Platinum. That means that Intel essentially sponsors all the breaks. They get all their logo over a lot of the marketing material. And for the last few years, Intel has been that sponsor. They've been the main sponsor of the event and just a lot of everywhere you see is Intel. So as part of the show, one of Intel's uh, talks at the end had a little contest for its participants. And the contest looks like this. This is the final slide of one of their presentations. And it just simply says, thank you, figure seven, something is gonna happen, what is gonna happen, something what, and then this, uh, this link. We were told during the uh, during the presentation that if you solve this riddle, then you'll get entered to win something special. Now, if you take this code and you just assume that it's binary, convert this into numbers. So we have one, two, four, no eight, but 16, and then do it all the way down. You get the word wonderful, something wonderful. And then if you go to this link, you actually get here, hotchips33.com. And it's pretty simple. If you've got the answer, leave it here. You might win. And it's got fig one, fig two, fig three, fig four, fig five, fig six, fig seven. Now, if I put in wonderful here, compute. Sorry, that is the wrong answer. Please try again. And with the wrong answer, there's not a lot to do. The, the, the quiz looks like it's a figure one, figure two, figure three, and you've got to figure out exactly what each of these figures mean and are and but the issue is that the presentation we'd had from intel had figure seven that was what gave wonderful however figures one to six are probably going to be later on in the conference now i'm filming this just before day one officially starts tutorials before with day zero so i've got a feeling that all of these figures are still to come in presentations later on the event however i managed to break through this and not actually need to answer this topic at all so official rules down here doesn't say much so the first thing i did with uh, this page is go to view page source and we have a source and you might think it would be stupid for uh, a system like this to have the answer embedded directly in the html and you're right it doesn't however if we look through we'll go to the sections these are all the characters with a figure one figure two and uh, the important thing here is is this form class and then we have the method equals post so we won't be able to get anything from the url however what you will notice is uh, wp dash content uh, a few things that say wp which stands for wordpress now i was wondering is the end page is it actually a physical page or is it a randomly generated page under some php now, WordPress, WordPress has this uh, wonderful uh, thing to do that you can actually find out the site map. And in order to find that, you go to robots.txt. And then we have this page here that shows you, you know, you can't enter the admin. Um, and even if we went to the allow, allow section, yeah, it doesn't give anything. But it does give a site map. And that's what we're going to use to find out what we've got here. So this is a site map for the website that Intel set up, hotchips33.com. And we have a number of pages. So let's go to users. And then we have author W West admin. So I know some Robert West, I guess. And then you have form confirmation, home official rules, sign up, form confirmation. Thank you for your entry. We have successfully cracked the code. Congratulations, Intel. Now, if you win this, uh, if you crack the code, you get entered into an Intel Evo laptop drawer. And uh, actually, this is the old page. We need to go back a bit. So we went through the author, uh, uncategorized. We come back to this page. Posts. Now, here we have the pages. So we have form confirmation, official rules, 
And then this. So form confirmation is what we saw before. But the thing is, you don't actually input any data into that page. What we do have is this address. You cracked the code. Wonderful. Now enter to win yourself something. So two lucky correct entries will be drawn. Grand prizes. All correct entries are eligible for a participation gift. You don't need to crack the code. You just need to crack the website. And this is what I mean by when I say Intel security. So first name, last name, city, state, postal code, country. Funny thing is, rules and regs say that this is for US only, but it still says country. Would you like a gift? And this is the wonderful logo. And yeah, that is about it. Hey, everyone. Uh, future Ian. Uh, it's been pointed out that if I'm going to actually actively go for this contest, I might as well participate properly. So I was right. The clues for the uh, for, for the contest were happened throughout Hot Chips at the end of Intel presentations, and they kind of looked like this uh, image with uh, these things that you know I think I've shown you before. It says one to zeros, uh, and if you put this out, it spells wonderful. But the clues were like this, and again, you have to convert these into what the binary representation is. So. This is a C, and here's a clue. It's like a crossword, right? This is a so 16.35 hertz is a C. Uh, figure six, if you convert this number from binary into a letter, you get a P. Sorry, no, you get a U. Sorry, because this is figure six. U, a powerful element, uranium. Figure four, uh, rays, spots, errors, and kisses, X. Figure five, uh, this is 16 in binary, so that's a pawn, a passing grade, P. Okay, music played quietly, P, as in you know, pianissimo or whatever it is. Uh, figure two, again, is a P. When in Rome, it denotes 400. I thought 400 was CD, but it's P. Then figure three is, uh, is this again, which is 21, which is U, text slang, the second person. And then you go to the website, which looks kind of like this. And you put in the numbers and figures, and it just so happens that C P U plus X P U equals wonderful. Click compute, and you crack the code. And then if you look at the address bar, we've got the address that I managed to find using the site sitemap. So before anybody says you shouldn't have entered the contest, you didn't actually do it. Uh, there is actually terms and conditions at state you have to go through the actual way to submit to the contest. Well, I've done that as well. This is the story of how I broke Intel security on their competition for hot chips. But the code wasn't too hard at the end of the day. Just had to wait until the talks had finished. You know, it's it's quite surprising to me that Intel would use WordPress for something like this. Now, don't forget, this is, uh, despite the fact that they're being, you know, the big sponsors for this conference, it is only a conference of about 2,000 people. So... Building something like this, it has to be quick, it has to be fast. WordPress is a good solution for that. But uh, it looks like the people who created it, who are behind it, don't really understand much how WordPress works, or at least can be circumnavigated to this. Um, the point is, you could have hid it all behind PHP, and that probably would have worked. But just a simple sitemap, if you've got your, uh, you, you've won, I don't need to crack the code. All I need is something like this. And uh, that's the story of how I broke Intel security. I'm actually going to wait until the contest is over before I post this video. Um, big thanks to all of you who stay long for my uh, Hot Chips watch streams that went on during the Monday and Tuesday. Hopefully those went on for a good 10 hours plus. That's the goal there. And uh, yeah, all the Hot Chips. What's I mean in the specification here? Well, if I get the laptop, let's see. Let's review it. Uh, there's a further discussion to be had about whether press like me should be able to enter contests like this and whether that's a, a thing that we should be considering whether that actually skews the view of the person who's entering it. Um, I know Steve from Gamers Nexus has a very different viewpoint on this. Um, it'd be great to have him and perhaps a few others chime in on the subject as well. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have now a private Discord server. And if you want access to that, become a Patreon member and it'll instantly add you as long as your emails are linked. You can join the Patreon for as little as $1.50 a month and it all goes back into helping the channel. Thank you for your support.